broccoli can be quite a challenging crop to grow in Oklahoma. We can grow it either as a spring crop or a fall crop, but both have their challenges. With our spring crop, high temperatures in the late springtime, just as the plants are beginning to uh, reach harvest, can actually damage those developing heads. Now with a fall crop, we need to start the plants toward the end of August, and that could be a challenge all of its own, trying to get the plants to establish during the heat of the summer. So we can experiment by planting as early as possible in the spring, um, and use some shading and other techniques in the fall. Now another great challenge with broccoli, and in fact its re relatives, the cabbage and the cauliflower, are cutworms, and cutworm is a small caterpillar and it comes in and wraps itself around the stem of the plant and chews right through it, cutting the entire top of the plant off. And you could come out and overnight your entire planting will disappear to cutworms. So there's a few ways we can interfere with their natural behavior and one is just by planting uh, either a paper cup or here I'm using toilet paper tubes planting your plants inside of that, and that will just disrupt their behavior. They can't reach those stems to wrap around. Another way we could do that is just simply sticking a stick or a pencil right up next to the stem. And again, that just simply prevents the cutworms from wrapping around there. It's a behavioral uh, interference. Cutworms affect other crops in the garden, such as beans and tomatoes. Now we'll be planting our tomatoes soon, and we can use these cutworm collars around those transplants as well to prevent damage. Another common pest of broccoli, as well as cabbage and cauliflower, are cabbage worms. We'll come back in a coming segment to look at ways to manage those pests.